Hello everyone and thanks for tuning back in. Alessandro the Crypto here. I hope you're doing all fine. So welcome back to another episode here on the Bitcoin price. We have to analyze again all the time frames today and also have a look on the DXY. But before we start, congratulations to everyone that is watching my 24-7 live stream where you can see my own indicator because here we had the clear sell signal on the DXY and the buy signal on Bitcoin. And if you took this long, then congratulations to your profits. I still think there is some room left to the upside, but based here in the one hour time frame, it looks like that we could be in here for a short lift correction, possibly down to reopen a new long position down at around 10K to $10,200 because the one hour currently is looking a bit exhausted, but here in the midterm, it looks like that we still have some room left to the upside. So congratulations if someone took this long based on my indicator. And if you're also interested in watching my 24 seven indicator live stream, then please contact me over on the discord. You find the link down below here in the video description. And of course, if you would like to trade Bitcoin and other assets up to 100 X leverage, like here on Bybit, Femex or BTR, for example, you find the recommended exchanges down below here in the video description with the links that you find down below here to register to these exchanges. You don't need KYC, nothing plus, you will get some rewards and some bonus that you can use for trading and later on also withdraw of course if you fulfill all the requirements that they are asking and also feel welcome to join our free discord trading chat the chat is completely for free and everyone is welcome and now we can start in the Bitcoin price here in the one hour because as I told you before it looks like that here we could be in for a possible short leaf correction to the downside potentially to retest this $10,200 to $10,000 level. We have the RSI bouncing from the 50 right now which is a good sign we are trading right at the 20 moving average at $10,287. But since right now I also have some bearish signs in the one hour, for example, my own indicator is showing a sell signal, even though we are more bullish now in the mid to long term. But here for the one hour time frame, it looks like that we could be in here for some more continuation to the downside, potentially to test this $10,200. Again, if you still plan to open up a long position, I think in the next couple of hours, you will get the chance to open one because I still think there are some more bullish signs in the mid to long term which are worth to keep an eye on because here I think you could do some nice gains if we're gonna have a bounce here at least towards 10,600 to 10,800. And if we have a look into the Bollinger Band, also here you can see that currently we're trading here on the bearish side. We had now a one hour close below this middle line here, so below $10,300. So watch out here for this $10,180, the bottom here in the one hour time frame Bollinger Band. We also have Stochastic now shifted to the downside, potentially coming very close to oversold condition very soon. The problem here is that the MACD and the KST just had a bearish cross and we just started here to push to the downside. So that's why I think it is very likely that we're getting rejected at least for the moment here from $10,300 and we're heading towards this $10,200 to $10,000 again. So towards here the bottom of the Bollinger Band in the one hour before we could gear up here for another leg to the upside. And therefore, let's go over to the four hour time frame because here you can clearly see that right now we're trading above the 20 moving average, which is a very bullish sign. So currently the 10,240 level is acting as a support. And as long as we're closing four hour candles above the 20 moving average, we are shifted to the upside. And I think as soon as we're gonna have a close above the 50 moving average here, 10,440, we should be heading towards our next target here of around 11,000 to $11,400. This is where I think we could be heading to before maybe we're gonna see a major rejection and a possible next continuation of this correction that we just started because I still think it is very likely that we will go down to close the CME gap that we have down here at 9,600 but first we could also have a nice bounce here again towards 11k where also the 200 moving average is lining up here in the four hour and I think it is very likely that we're going to test this moving average very soon and although if you have a look here into the RSI you can see that right now we are trading at the 50 level if you are able to stay here in the upper area 
we should have enough room to the upside to go and test this 11,000 to 11,500 dollar and of course also since I had here a buy signal in my own indicator we are still running to the upside it looks like that we still have a lot of room left to the upside before getting in overbought condition but of course on the way up here there is a still high chance that we first could see another uh, correction to the downside potentially again towards 10k but i think if you open up a long position between 10,000 to 10,200 dollar if you think that we will go up to test 11k i think that would be the perfect entry and now let's have a look into the Bollinger Band here in the 4-hour because currently we are still trading here in the upper areas. The 4-hour is still looking great. Even if we go down here to test at 10,240, down to the middle line at 10,185 level, I think we should see a bounce to the upside. We still have the MACD and KSD shifted to the upside. Since we had here a bullish cross, the momentum is clearly shifted to the upside. But of course, we also had here some wicks to the downside, which the bulls immediately bought back up. Only the stochastic currently is looking a bit toppy, so here maybe we could see a possible correction, like I told you, in the one hour to cool off here the stochastic in the four hour and also maybe retest the midline here, the two moving averages here in the Bollinger Band. And now let's go over to the daily time frame because here you can see that currently we are still very oversold in the RSI. We are now again shifted to the upside. We had here even a bullish divergence, and in my opinion, it is very likely that we will go up here to at least test the 20 or maybe even 50 daily moving average so between here 10,850 and 11,200 dollar also my own indicator gave now a buy signal if we're gonna stay in this range here for today and have a close here above 10,200 dollar this buy signal is getting confirmed and we should see in the next couple of days continuation to the upside but of course there is still a high chance that for the short term we're gonna see some more corrections to the downside even potentially down to close the CME gap but the daily is again starting to look very bullish if we go over into the Bollinger Band here you can see that currently we are fighting with the first moving average down here $10,400 if we have a daily close above $10,400 then prepare to test here the 11 because this is right now the midline of the Bollinger Band so it is very likely that if we're gonna have a close above 10,400 we will go straight up here to test 11,000 dollar that doesn't mean that we're gonna have a reversal here and we are going to skyrocket here to the upside because we still have MACD and KSD shifted to the downside this is bearish but it's all gonna depend what will happen if we're going up here to test eleven thousand dollar if you're able to break it or at least consolidate in this area and create all the support above 11k because in that case we could have also then a bullish cross in the MACD and KSD which would confirm also my buy signal that we will see a potential reversal to the upside and go again towards 12k and higher but currently we still have to wait for these daily closes and what will happen once we're going to test 11k which in my opinion is very likely to come and now we can go over into the dxy since we are in the daily time frame we're gonna have a look into the daily time frame here the dxy because the lower time frames like the three hour which is very relevant on the dxy you can see in my own indicator so if you're interested in that then you can contact me over on discord and here in the daily you can see that currently we are coming back down to the 20 daily moving average which is here at 93 dollars and if here we are going to close again below 93 dollars then prepare for another sell-off in the dxy potentially towards 91.50 and this would indicate that we're gonna have a big push to the upside on the bitcoin price and potentially also in the stock market since i got here a buy signal you can see that the dxy was pumping like crazy and yesterday we even tested here the main resistance but currently we are seeing a possible correction to the downside we're gonna have to see if today we're closing below or above the 20 daily moving average if you have a look here into my own indicator it looks like that we are still on the way to the upside but of course if the performance is not that great and we're gonna have a close here below the 20 daily moving average here we could potentially come down again so once a buy or sell signal is hitting here it's good to take the trade but this indicator is not telling you where you should exit so if you think that we will go down here put a tight stop loss in the Bitcoin price if you had a long position open or a short position open and long in the profits it is very hard to predict where the price is going and if it's gonna reach your target that's why make always sure to lock in profits so it doesn't matter what will happen where the price is going you will be always exiting in profits and then you can look for a new 
entry and also here the dxy is trading now again below the 50 level in the rsi we still have a support line here in the rsi so we have to see what happens if we are coming down again to retest this support line here in the rsi if today we're going to close again below the 20 daily moving average so i still think there is a high chance that maybe the dxy could have a big bounce to the upside here to maybe even test the 200 daily moving average which would lead into a big correction in the bitcoin price and also in the stock market and in the bitcoin price i think this could even take us towards seven thousand to eight thousand dollar if dxy is going to have a huge pump to the upside but even if we would see something like that the dxy would still remain here in a bear market and will remain below the 200 daily moving average which of course is very bullish for the bitcoin and stock market because in that case you will have a perfect buy and long opportunity if we're coming up to those levels which would mean that in the bitcoin and stock market prices we're going to have a huge dump and now let's have a final look here into the weekly time frame in the Bitcoin price because we are still bouncing here from the 20 weekly moving average which is a very bullish sign and since we are bouncing right now from this important support I think it is very likely that we could go up here to maybe retest this 11k area and then potentially come down again if we're going to have a continuation of this correction. RSI is coming down to the 50 level so this is what you want to see during a bull market that we come down to test again the 50 in the RSI and bounce successfully from it. The only problem is as I told you I have in the bigger time frames like here also in the weekly a sell signal on Bitcoin and in the DXY the opposite a buy signal. So this could indicate that in the DXY we're gonna have in the next couple of days and weeks continuations here to the upside so the trend is more shifted to the upside here in the DXY and on the Bitcoin price the opposite that here even though we could have some bounces to the upside at least for the next couple of days and weeks we're gonna have some continuation to the downside potentially to go also to fill the CME gap and maybe even go lower and that's why potentially if you open up shorts they will perform better than longs currently since the drops to the downside then will be more effective than the pushes to the upside but so far we are still in early stages and even if we're gonna see a possible correction in the bitcoin price a major one which not only will take us towards nine thousand one hundred dollar but even below for the bigger picture we will remain bullish and since we also broke this important resistance here at ten thousand dollar we're gonna see a parabolic bull run here in the bitcoin price coming up in the next couple of years so if you see the price dumping don't panic sell take it as a good buy and long opportunity so with that said guys i'm gonna wrap it up for now don't forget also to subscribe to our ten dollar worth of bitcoin giveaway that we do every week week subscribe to the channel here and leave your comment and bitcoin address in the video that is popping up at the end of this video where it says subscription for the giveaway there you have to put the comment and your bitcoin address we're going to select the winner at the end of this week and of course feel free to use the links that you find down below here if you want to buy bitcoin from an exchange or you want to go long or short because with my links you will get some rewards and with some of them you can also get some free cryptos as well like here on coinbase earn for example so thank you very much for watching my friends please moon up the likes and we're gonna see us all in the next one bye